Hey guys, welcome to this part where we'll actually make our Node server and connect Game Maker Studios Windows program as a client. So to get started with that, let's actually create a new Node project. And I'll make a new folder here called Server. In it, I'll open a command prompt. This is how you start any Node project. And you say npm in it. So this makes node start a new project here. And you know, it's, it's gonna ask you for the name, you wanna keep, and I'm okay with all the defaults. Just enter, enter, yeah. And the module, the, the technology that we use in our Game Maker 2 node communication is gonna be WebSocket. So WebSockets are really fast, and you can use it on any platform so that's also cool html5 windows it's all cool they all work and yeah so to make node uh, use websocket we'll we, we're gonna do this thing called we'll install a node module so to do that you say um, i think node sorry npm it's node package manager install um WS. So WS is the module name, WebSocket, and you know it's gonna install that. Same in this folder that we have made. So there's this file called package.json. So that's how Node identifies that yes, there is a Node project here. And every Node project needs this um, script file. So you can call it server.js. And this is what has your. So. In my server.js, it's empty now, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code and I'll explain it to you guys. So, let's paste it. So, it's very simple what we are doing here. We are importing the WS module we just installed in that folder, and then we are creating a new WebSocket server on this port. and once you have this connection, and once a new WebSocket or a new client connects, you know, this code is run. You know, this is the code that runs. And, you know, when the client sends us some message, this part is run. This, you get this function callback. And then when the, you know, when the client suddenly, suddenly disconnects abruptly, this part is done. Actually, let's say it like that. And then, you know, when there's an error with the client, this happens. So let me just go ahead and um, say console dot log, you know, because this this code part is what happens when there's a new connection, so an on connection event. So we say console dot log a new player has connected. Okay, let me just save that. And now to run any node project, you will have to do this. You say node and the name of your file, your script file.js. Just make sure you're in the same folder, right? And so it says the WebSocket server is running because we had asked it to log that. And then let's get back to our uh, Game Maker Studio 2. And we're going to have to connect to this node server. So, how do we do that? First, we'll have to open up a socket. Now, to do that, we use this function called network create socket. And you know, it's gonna ask you for the type of socket you're creating. There are many types here. So, network socket, yeah. So, the socket we're using here is WebSockets. So, network socket WS is ours. You have Bluetooth, TCP, UDP, too. So, this is ours. And it stores this socket. I, you know, this function returns the socket ID. In, that's stored in this variable. And then you have to actually connect to connect this socket to the server you want to connect to. It can be any server. So we say network connect. Uh, yeah. So here you have many options. Firstly, the whole WebSocket technology that we are using is asynchronous. So we have to use a function which has async in it. Secondly, um, you know how you can actually create a, a server in Game Maker 2 that's like uh, 
you know, that's not considered a raw software. But when we use something like Node.js, that's a raw, that's a raw web server. So whenever we host on maybe Python or something else, that's totally raw. So that's why we actually go for this raw asset. This is our case. And be sure to use this and only this. Okay. Now I think it takes, yeah, it takes a socket ID first. That's the variable up there. And then the URL. Um, you guys know that I've been posting this whole thing on on port 3000 of my computer. So my computer is just local host. You know, we, yeah. And then it's asking us for the port. So the port is 3000. You guys can find out there. If it was something else here, we would have to put that port itself. And yeah. So now you guys remember, right? We said console.log, a new player has connected when you have a connection. So let's actually go ahead and try if this is working. Yep, it says a new player has connected and uh, your game starts running too. As of now, nothing else happens. It's just connected and right there. But yeah, you guys get the idea. In fact, let me just do something else. You, you want to press Control C here to stop the whole thing. You do it many times. And now let me just do something else. Uh, even here, when it closes, let me just console.log it as a player disconnect. Uh, player okay. uh, player disconnected. Okay, I'm gonna save that and run it again. Now let's see what happens. And right now it says the player has connected. And if I abruptly close this, it says a player disconnected. So what we have done till now is in fact working. Cool. 